all exposed, Nandi Kano was drugged before being brought back to Nigeria, Falana. We will not allow Buhari to take us back to 1984. Hello, my wonderful people. Uh, the activities of Muhammad Buhari's government, some of the, um, I mean, evil things that they have done, the exposure of it is coming out gradually and everybody is beginning to see and possibly understand what really happened. If you look at the pictures of Unandi Kano, you could see that the man look rather drowsy, you know, sleepy. It does not look like the same person that is alert very you know uh focus and um, speaks very clearly you could see him leaning forward as though you know uh, somebody of course who has been drugged um the kenya government first of all said oh we have nothing to do with um Nandi Kano, or oh, we did not do anything to him, and uh, we did not, uh, we did not get him in, in Kenya and brought him to Nigeria. Later, everything has been exposed that indeed he was brought from Kenya because his British passport was actually found in Kenya. So we've not really heard something concrete from the British government. However, reports reaching us now is that uh, Nandi Kano was actually drugged, and that is actually against fundamental human rights. He was drugged, which is wrong. You know, if you look at it very well, you know, let's get straight into the news and get all the details. Unandi Kanu drugged before being brought back to Nigeria, Falana. Popular lawyer Femi Falana has stated that is likely the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra was drugged and put to sleep before being brought back to Nigeria from Kenya. Falana made this statement while speaking at the 13th Walesho Inca Center Media lecture series to commemorate his 87th, 87th birthday. The Fury lawyer made that, added that Nigeria will resist attempts by President Muhammad Buhari to take the country back to the year 1984. We should not allow Buhari's government to take us back to 1984 when an attempt was made to kidnap Diko in London. He had already been kidnapped and on the way to the airport. A neighbor saw them and raised the alarm after weaknesses, weaknessing the inhuman treatment he was subjected to. In the case of Kano, Kenya government cannot admit that on, the, uh, that on their soil, a Nigerian was taken out of the country without going through legal process. It is likely they drugged him to sleep and brought him back to Nigeria. Somebody must have gone close to him from behind, given him an injection that instantly sends him to sleep, and they would have carried him away, all well planned out, in an attempt saying they are going to resuscitate or give him medical aid. It was all planned out. This was what mostly have happened to Nandi Kano. That they almost, it is likely they drugged him, put him to sleep, and brought him back to Nigeria. That is against the anti Torture Act and Nigerian Constitution. Therefore, those who say they brought Kano back through international collaboration are not saying the truth. Interpol cannot deport without due process. He continued further. The people in Abuja need to understand we are not in a conquest people. We should learn to treat people with dignity. What has happened is not right. So this is what is going on. Falana is saying there is something not right with Yonandi Kanu's repatriation to Nigeria. And it is clear, vividly clear for all eyes to see that something is wrong. The way and the manner in which this man was brought back to Nigeria is very suspicious. Oh yes. Oh yes, truly and very suspicious. This man was taken against, you know, was taken against his will. First of all, he was dragged against his will. You look at everything that is happening, you know the deceit has continued. The deceit has continued in Nigeria. And Nigerian government continue to pretend, you know, lies and everything. They've done this before and it was in the same Buhari's regime where they tried to adopt somebody from the UK. But thank God uh, 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 a neighbor saw what was happening and raised an alarm. Again, they've started it again in 2021. They've started it again. This is not acceptable. This is not, Boyer is taking, Boyer did that in, in, in 1984 when he tried to kidnap somebody. This was the same plan they used again for Nandi Kano. 
It's just a shame that Unandi Kano, you know, I don't know for whatever reason, whatever he was doing in Kenya, that he fell into their hands and their traps and they were able to bring him back to Nigeria. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not supporting any wrongdoing, I mean, from, I mean, but I'm saying Nigerian government has done wrong. And when you have done wrong, what is wrong is wrong. Nobody should support it and pretend that all is right. Buhari's government, it shows you that Buhari is still the same old person. That same person of 1984 is still the same person. He has not changed. There is no change in him. The same person that was very, you know, malicious, the same person that is very tribalistic, nepotic, and wants, you know, things to be done in a certain way is the same person he has not changed. And the funniest thing is that Nigerians really fell for it. Oh, yes, Nigerian fell hard and long, thinking that really change has come. Oh, what a deceit, what a time of great deceit that Nigerians truly really fell for it. Today, I can tell you everybody, Okay, if anybody, if the, anybody that is not regretting it is those who are benefiting from this administration. They are the ones that will tell you, the, I mean, Buhari should continue forever because they know exactly what they are benefiting from the Buhari's administration. Other than that, if you are a right-thinking person with a sound mind and a sane, and you are sane, you will understand that people are suffering. Things are not the way they are. Think people are suffering. Things have gone from bad to worse. Nigeria, this is not Nigeria. This is not a country called Nigeria. You see, I mean, Buhari is the same old, the same old tactics. So they say old habit die hard. The habit is back. Is the same man. So Nigerians, don't let anybody, yes, deceive you and push you into a corner. Buhari is the same person he was in 1984, where he was brutal. You know, look at it. Somebody who you are a president, your wife left you. Is that a good person? Who does not want to be a first lady of a country? Eh? Who does not want to be a first... The wife left him. And you think all is well? You think all is well? Please think again. There is serious cause for concern. You know, and if Falana is following this lead already, we'll see where, it's with, where this trail will lead and uh, what will happen next as the matter unfolds. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Remember, you have a voice. Do let it count. Don't forget, it is important we stand up for one another so that we are not opposed and oppressed. You remember, every one of us need one another. Uh, don't forget, it is important we stand together. Bye for now.